I'm gonna make a nice little gray here. I wanna introduce this super dark red I have. It's a berry wine. I think this is one of the paints that was sitting in my storage for like two years. It might be a little uh, weathered. Nasty. Don't ever leave your paint in an unclimate controlled environment. But I think for our purposes, this might work in its own disgusting way. Did you see how that came out? That was super nasty. That noise will forever haunt me. See, paint should not do that. That looks horrendous. So what am I going for with this painting, you might ask? Am I making something dark like this because we're in dark times? Huh? Sure. Something darker? Dark red? Ooh, you. I'm thinking I want to do purples and greens and blues everywhere. Uh, I use a knife because I don't have a paint opener thing. It's very dangerous. Ultra Cover Rust-Oleum Premium Latex Paint. Uh, the pictures of a, uh, a workbench. When it just globs like that, that's not good. My foot's wet, I don't know why. Wherever you point the bottle is where it's most likely going to go. Don't think too much about the brush. The brush is just a, a tool used to extract paint. It's been uh, about a week since I uh, was working on this and uh, I've been looking at it for uh, the entire week and I don't think this painting is done. It's not exciting to me. I was trying to limit my palette to only uh, cool colors but the more I looked at it I've been thinking why not pump it up a notch and introduce some warm colors to it so we're just adding some yellow sometimes I like to make my paintings to where it has a theme of colors but the more I looked at this one it didn't quite have that same feel like that that one has that's partly because I used way more variations of green, blue, and a little bit of purple. So I think that kind of eliminated it, having that appeal.
I want to bring in a red. So I got this super crusty brush here that dried and uh, I think the paint might uh, adhere to it a little better. Wow, that was immediately wrong. Oh, maybe. Okay, here we go. This is working out pretty good. You know, I was thinking because it's kind of fat on the bottom, more paint will hang out on there, so you can kind of twirl that around a little easier. I'm not uh, bringing in a super tried and true formula here. I kind of discover something different every time, so. Uh, This is one of those times where it just happened to work. It worked out. I'm gonna bring out some really thin lines with this orange. So this thing is chugging along super well. I'm very happy with it so far. Uh, one thing that I'm not liking as much is this kind of light pale green I got going on here. I want to uh, add a different type of green that'll hopefully dilute this a bit. It won't do it completely because that's a hefty amount of green. But what I think I can do is maybe change the the flow of it a bit by introducing a more bold version of green. There's no real green in this set? That makes me sad. Why would they do that? Oh, those monsters. We're gonna give this aqua a spin. I must have been loving this mint green the other night. Maybe it looked better uh, when it was wet than uh, after drying, but I'm not liking it at the moment, so. Sorry, old me. But you had terrible tastes then, and uh, new me, uh, week old me, week later me, has better eye for color. So hard on myself. by the, the cool colors, so we need a we need to go the other direction. It's a constant back and forth, but in the end, hopefully we find the proper balance. I think we will. Is let's meet in the middle. We could go with purple. some piece of plastic stuck to that. I just noticed that thing. Wow. Hm. You think you understand a painting. I want to add black. I think that's a wrap.